Wait. I need seduction. If I can need seduce people, seduction. I can get blood without needing to pay for it. I mean, yeah. And I could just go into a club and be like, hey, baby. <laughs> and she'll just give it to me. She'll just give me the suck. <clears throat> Alright. Well, until then, let's go buy a prostitute. I'm not gonna buy a prostitute. I'm gonna see how much <laughs> it takes to level up my seduction. Where is seduction? Appearance! I need four. Appearance. I've got three. Yeah, you only got like one seduction, man. Yeah, I'm not very seductive. You try, you try to talk to someone, and they're like, yeah, whatever. I mean, you, you've met me. <laughs> you, you know the kind of stuff that I say. Friggin', there it is. <laughs> yep, never gonna get tired of that. <laughs> okay, that one's locked. I just want out of here. I just want out of the sewer. That's so much to ask. Oh, I'm, I'm free. Free of the sewer, and I need a shower. No, now I need to go back to the asylum and try to get some. Well, let's go back to the asylum. It's the complete opposite way you went. Yeah, I don't know where I am at. Whenever I first come out of places, <laughs> I think you took the long way around. I probably did. Hey, look, there we are. <laughs> dancing. Seduction lines appear in special pink print. Okay. So I can seduce people. I could do it. Maybe I should wait until I'm a Malkavian to to put everything into seduction and just be like pure combat as a gangrel. <laughs> I don't know. I barely need extra combat points. <laughs> hey, oh. Jeanette. What's up? I could have been undressing, and who knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Um, sure. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? Wow, throwing shade for her not giving <laughs> it up, huh? <laughs> He's just both throwing shade at each other for the opposite thing. All right, uh, uh, I just need a give or something. Can I see it? Um, I'd rather give it to Therese. Not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? No, she didn't say those words at all. Not yeah, those just... words, anyway. She said, uh, she called you a whore a couple times, but, uh... I mean, yeah, she said other things, but not that. No, please calm down. She's always belittling me. <laughs> she's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair! I'm not a fool! This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. She did call you a four-year-old. Uh... I understand, but I still can't give it to you. It's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes. Can you? Are you gonna keep doing this until I finally give in? I maybe. <laughs> Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm. Since you are so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Um, sure. <laughs> what would put a smile on that face, doll? Down the street. 
I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been uh. by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So now that you uh, remember what she looks like, how do you feel about both of them? Oh, I like them both. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. All right. I, I, okay. I, I'll I'll take the charity box. <laughs> uh. All right. So. Oh, I'm, I, all right. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about. Can it. I not just fist oh, yeah. them? Do I need I to can use only the knife? Amuse myself for so long. <laughs> I'd never intentionally keep you. No, I'm just kidding. I would. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well. All right, something fun. bad's gonna happen to us. Let's go. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, it, it's really Destroy hard to choose someone's... between them. Except for the fact yeah. that uh, one of them is gross. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to click it. Uh, duh. That bartender still there? Yeah, he's still here. I said he was leaving. You liar. Yeah, he's a big liar. Fat pants. He doesn't know how to tell the truth. That's how big of a liar pants he is. <laughs> I think he might have been a vampire, but I'm not sure. Also, we just we did just kind of lie to him. We <laughs> sure did. Uh, it, it's not like... And even though it's always constantly the same night, technically multiple days are passing. So he could have like not showed up, and, and then they called him. And be like, what yeah. are you talking about? We didn't get a new bartender. <laughs> uh, so museum. You get back to work. Uh, Santa Monica, steal the charity box. Retrieve the pendant. Okay. Wait, spiritual release. You have discovered a journal in the house. According to its contents, a jealous murder. She seems to be wanting to. Would, was I not done there? Chard Dyer was. I don't. I don't know. Just arrived here at the Ocean House. We have a week long holiday at Santa Monica, and Ed booked a room. The hotel's grand opening. It's a wonderful place. Almost magical. The children have been swimming all afternoon. First two days have been almost perfect, except Ed can't seem to stop asking about the locket I received from my mother. He seems to think it was sent to me by some other admirer. Ed can be sweet, but sometimes the jealousy could get better of him. Hopefully he'll feel better tomorrow. Sun is out today, not a cloud in the sky. Ed seems a little on edge. Keeps guessing as to who my new boyfriend is. Silly Ed. There it was a picnic for the hotel guests this morning. Quite a grand affair. Ed is in a dark mood. I don't know if what I can do to reassure him that he is my one and only love. The only time he seemed to brighten up was when he was speaking to the groundskeeper. Boys and their tools. We only have two more days left. Thank God we're finally going home. Ed won't speak to me or the children, and I found him more than once in the bathroom holding the locket and staring at it. I'm afraid he suffered some sort of breakdown. I told him we could go home, but he just shakes his head. He won't look at me. I just want to go home. I left early this morning and I haven't seen him since if I haven't seen him in another hour I'm going to call the hotel manager against my better wishes Ed Jr. went to Ed Jr. are you serious Ed Jr. bro that's such a bad junior name <laughs> went down to 
to look for him downstairs in the basement. I'm going to send Tiffany down to fetch him if... Wait, someone is knocking at the door. Oh god, Ed covered in blood, coming to kill me. Locked myself in the bathroom. He's gone crazy. Keep shouting, we'll be together forever, and he'll never let me go. You wrote this while this was happening? <laughs> someone please help? You were going to write yep. someone please help in your diary while you were being murdered. Oh, well, she... Well, she, well, she can... What this, were you going to try to send more... it? Oh, my God. <laughs> were you going to try to put the page in a bottle and flush it down the toilet <laughs> while he's chasing this makes... you? This would all be more, make more sense if it was like a recording you heard and something, but... Alright, I don't it. know... Exquisite pen, it looks polished. Throw it. Forever, Zook. Okay, so I guess I just wait. I go. I give that to Therese, and then it'll finish it. Maybe. I'll I don't know. How many points do I have? Wait. I got four points. I need to put. Four? Yeah. Got more, more seduction now. Hey baby, you wanna be seducted? What's the hops, bro? Want some <laughs> seduct? All right, so wait, where do we need to go now? Slasher piece? You wanna go kill some paintings? Let's go kill some paintings. All right, I don't know where that is. It's a museum. <laughs> you go to the museum. Is it here? Go We're to a museum. Suicide Diner Asylum MHZ. What does MHZ stand for? Megahertz? I I don't know. I think it might be megahertz. Uh, <laughs> Gallery Noir 12. 12, okay. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Okay, I'm here. I need to go that way. Around the asylum, I think it was. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be my main squeeze right here. This guy is always yep. freaking... Uh, always here. Always taking a leak there. <laughs> Am I going the long way um, again? <laughs> Probably. Alright, so... The... Noir. Uh, Museum it? Noir. Am I... Museum am I close? Noir. I'm close! Yes, That's it's... Not that. There it is. That Gallery right there? Noir. There you go. No, 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 no! Well... Go away. Well... There might be an easier way around the back. Hey, hey, Could be. Hey, hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Didn't you get the call? Okay. What call are you talking <laughs> about there, Chief? One of the artists pissed off the director, so I'm pulling in their art from the show. Oh, I'm the museum director's assistant. Yeah, that pay well. <laughs> Taking one look at you, I'd say no. No shame in that. Us working class folks got to look out for our own. You get a promotion out of it. How about buying an old chunk of bear claw and a cup of joe? Deal. Look, uh, I'll let you in. But I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to this. Oh, office. right, 62A, yeah. Just so you're aware. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You do that, man. I, I'd expect it. Better file a 45 b too. This guy, uh, he, this guy yeah. comes in like, this is an interesting conversation. Uh, excuse me, on? sir. <laughs> I'm finagling my way past the security guard <laughs> to slice some paintings. <laughs> See ya. All right. So he was supposed to be in front of the door. Yeah, you just a pose there, bro. Bad 
Yeah, I didn't mean to to start l trying to pick the lock of this place either. <laughs> All right. So first That's things awesome. first, gotta get paid. Wow. Only two hundred fifty dollars oh, yeah. for charity from a freaking charity art event. Oh, ooh, humanity lost. Ooh, let's see how many I have. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Okay, so Kane slays Abel. Yeah. Kane spurns Lilith. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, that one's pretty. Kane cursed by God. I mean, it's, well, I like that effect. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Kane meets Lilith. Mm, mm, mm. I think it's the Joel. Well, I don't know. We're not supposed to put these in order, right? Just gotta slash them up. I don't know. Maybe, uh, we're, maybe supposed we're supposed to put to them, them in order. order. So, all right, kills he kills Abel. Is that it? Just gotta cut yeah, it up. Yeah, it was a, cut a, it, it up more. No, it's got the two slashes in it. Oh, okay, all right. Then I'm gonna he guess kills, he he's cursed her. by God. No, I'm cursed. No, he's cursed by God first. Yeah, I don't know none of this stuff. Yeah, then he meets her, and then he spurts. There was something about the paintings. Mm, yeah, I can't she said there was something about the paintings. Maybe we have to fight Kane now. Uh, Kane is like the first vampire. Oh, Blood so. Guardian. Yeah. Oh man, Those I wish I could just drink it. Stuff. Fortitude. I need to start using Fortitude more often because that's my like defense buff. Hey, yeah. Why don't you do that more often? <laughs> Would you stop sidestepping? Let me. <laughs> Look at how like, good nope. my defense buff is when, whenever I remember to use it. <laughs> yeah. He can't even hurt. Would you, dude? <laughs> Ugh. Oh man. Okay. No. All right. Wait, no. Let me buff first. Why do I have this knife equipped? I unequipped you it. You have the knife equipped. Uh, okay. All right. You got. We did it. Okay, I really need to remember to use fortitude because that was. I got my butt <laughs> handed to me. I took no damage. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Prody right. to go off so that I can like go into the yeah. goddamn streets without. Put that knife away. There we go. Oh yeah, so and this Kane is the first vampire. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think it's supernatural. He's like the first demon or whatever. Wouldn't that be like Lucifer or whatever? Because uh, he's just... Yeah, well, in their world, like the demons are like people who become corrupted and whatnot. And they become demons. And then there's the fallen angels. Alright, I guess we're going back to uh, talk to Jeanette then. I guess so. Constantly checking my experience to see what I can get. <laughs> Alright. All right, let's see. Let's see what we get from uh from slicing up them paintings. I bet it's gonna be great. <laughs> but we're gonna get something real good, right? There's no uh, way we... that this could end badly, right? Uh, I don't know. She didn't tell us about the Blood Guardian and whatnot. She also didn't tell us whose paintings they were. Yeah. This is gonna only Shit. end well, right? What oh were you God. Thinking? The museum. Uh, that was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Oh. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. 
I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you! I didn't do it, I swear! You're the swear. You did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. <laughs> like, Excellent. Yeah. I'll take that. However, no, she's still mad. Problem. Yeah. The tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has. It's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. Yeah, there was no way that could go badly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For Santa, mo <laughs> for Santa Monica's most powerful kindred, I'd be happy to. I made some threats against. You.